Hello Bond fans. As you may know, I'm always on the lookout for rare Bond related items, but I would have never dreamt to find one this rare. Only 50 were ever produced and who knows how many are still in existence nearly 10 years on. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about. Today I would like to share with you the story of an unexpected discovery. In 2015, acclaimed British photographer Terry O'Neill released a retrospective of his Bond onset photography since Goldfinger called Bond and Beyond in a limited edition of 1000, the first 50 of which included a digital screen cover. As far as I'm aware, the first time ever something like that has been done. Now, while I've heard of and seen images of this technical marvel, I'd never been up close with one. That changed on Saturday in an antiquarian bookshop on the King's Road. As I was looking at some first edition Bond novels, including a Dr. No in a presentation case I'd never seen before, the sales assistant suddenly said, oh, if you like James Bond, you'd love this, and proceeded to unwrap one of those rare 50 copies of Terry O'Neill's uh, Bond and Beyond with the digital screen in the cover. And not only did it have the digital screen, it also played a version of the theme tune. It's getting a bit heavy. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the thing that's important about this one, they're all signed by Terry O'Neill. Mm -hmm. um, the important one about this one is that makes it different is that it's also signed by Honor Blackman. Oh, that, that's, Pussy Galore. And yes, exactly. Um, that's what makes finger. this one different because most of them aren't signed by her. We don't know how it got signed or anything, but. Wow. Now, of course, the big question is. What's the price? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> we the answer is we don't know. We haven't priced <laughs> it. Um, there's one copy up for uh, 1,500. Wow. The internet, but that, the, I, we don't know if that's really accurate or not. Honestly, give, give, give us a call. We'll try and work something out because we've had it for so long. Uh -huh. Mr. Fleming. Sean Connery. Ursula Andres from Dr. No. My guess would be this is Diamonds Are Forever level Connery. More Ursula Andres. This is Goldfinger, Guy Hamilton directing. The now controversial scene in the hay. Connery struggling with the camera. Honor Blackman. Oh yeah, this I know, this is a famous Connery with Terry O'Neill's camera. I can see this. <laughs> That's another famous one of Connery. More Ursula Andres. Lunch on set of Diamonds Are Forever. Definitely Diamonds Are Forever. Connery and Jill St. John as Tiffany Case. And the casino. Beautiful. So there you have it. This very rare limited edition of 50 is now available for sale at World's End Bookshop on uh, Chelsea's Kings Road in London. As you heard, not priced yet. 
I've seen one advertised on eBay for 1500 pounds and there was another one on uh, Lots Road auctions that included the coffee table and that was priced at between two and three thousand. So somewhere in that region, if you have that money lying around, give them a call. I put the contact details in the description below and also over the end titles. And I'll see you in the next one. Or you can watch this one right now. Bye.